Welcome back to this special edition of Hannity. The left, as you know, has repeatedly pushed the envelope. They continue every day in their never-ending culture war. Well, author Victor Davis Hanton, Hansen has written a fantastic new op-ed where he called that war a, quote, full-fledged cultural revolution against traditional America. His closing sentence in the editorial is our first question tonight. Why are our government, corporations, and popular culture colluding in mass suicide to the delight of our enemies like communist China? Victor Davis Hansen joins us now with more Victor, why are those institutions colluding in America's, what they, what, why do they want America's suicide? I don't know exactly, but I think they feel that if they're correct ideologically, then they get a pass on every type of behavior, and that behavior leads to sort of the destruction of institutions, and that's not necessarily a bad thing because they feel America was flawed in in its origin. So you take our, here in California, we're, we're, we're facing $32 billion in debt, Pete. Why would a council or commission on reparations say that we're going to get $800 billion? Uh, why not a trillion? But to African Americans, when we were a, a free state, that's eight generations ago. And then when confronted with those realities, the commission says, well, we're willing to take it on installment. Or I was just reading, you know, we, we're looking up the, the tragic death on the subway, and I thought, wow, this guy looks like he's a career criminal that was killed. I thought maybe he had arrest of five, seven. How does somebody in the criminal justice system have a, an arrest record of 40 arrests, including violent assault, lewd conduct? And then his uncle weighed in, and I thought, wow, he's weighing in in support of his deceased nephew. Maybe he has a criminal record. He's been arrested 70 times. What kind of criminal justice system, I guess, ideologically just excuse felony behavior? 70 times? Or we look at the border, I thought, wow, it might be porous. We might, under the Biden administration, have 100,000 or 200,000 illegal entries, but they just blew it up. It doesn't exist. We can't even imagine six and a half million illegal entries. And we look at the Los Angeles Dodgers. You know, greater Los Angeles has probably got the largest city in North America of people of Mexican-American or Central American or Hispanic heritage. The majority are Catholic. Most are still observant. Baseball, along with soccer, is the, the national pastime of the Spanish-speaking communities here and elsewhere. Why would the Los Angeles Dodgers, who can, depends on this constituency, at a time when people are, you know, audiences for professional sports are in decline, why would they invite the Sisters of uh, Perpetual Indulgence when their stock and trade is performance art blasphemy simulated sex, pornographic uh, attacks on the Trinity, the Catholic faith. What, what makes them do that? Is it they're hiring people out of MBA programs that are woke or they don't care? But the, the general theme in all of these incidents is that certain people feel they can take it to the ultimate level to insult traditional America, and there's no consequences, whether Target or Disney or Bud Light. And you were talking about the FBI, Pete, but I thought maybe mm -hmm. uh, an FBI director might fib once, but how did Andrew McCabe lie four times, three times under oath? Or James Clapper lied uh, about the NSA under oath, the head of the NSA, and he just simply laughed it off as, well, it's a least untruthful answer. Or John Brennan lied twice under oath, CIA director. And James Comey, I thought when he's in there and Devin Nunes and people are interviewing, he might claim amnesia 10 or 20 times but 245 times? So what I'm getting at is there's an arrogance that people feel that they can say or do whatever they want because ideologically they feel they're protected or exempt. And even if that destroys these institutions, we've destroyed the FBI, the CIA, the IRS, corporate America, the border, and I think traditional ecumenical racial relations. And it just keeps going as if it's a Jacobin or some type of updated French Revolution. And I don't think we're, we in traditional America understand what's going on. I, our enemies do, and that's why yeah. I think they're delighted about it. Well, that's why you mentioned Communist China. That's why, of course, they export TikTok to fill our, our kids' minds with nonsense and evil things, but won't allow their own kids in China to see those very same things. And, and fentanyl, I mean, you, you, yeah. you take your pick. Yeah. Uh, these corporations, clearly they know these issues yeah. don't enhance their bottom line. Tucking it in at Target is, is, isn't going to bring in a new customer base. They're signaling. The government is protecting one political power. 
the cultural rock, I think because Andrew Breitbart once said, you know, politics is downstream of culture. My pastor said culture is downstream of religion. I mean, what you believe in, what you have faith in informs the culture you have and ultimately the politics that unfold. Where between culture and religion or faith, because this feels like a, a religious belief amongst those on the left, very different form of religious belief. Where does that come from and how do we how do we confront it? Well, I think if you're an agnostic or an atheist, you're going to invent your own gods. And that's sort of a trope of philosophy. And they've invented these woke gods. For some, it's Mother Earth or a green deity. For some, it's redistribution or a woke goddess. And they feel that they have all the fervent belief of a true believer. And they're intolerant in a way that, you know, a fundamentalist can be. And if you don't believe in transcendence, and they don't, then you have these material gods, and, and they're political, and they're not, they're not forgiving. And so what That's they do exactly is, if right. you're a true believer in the left, they feel that certain privileges accrue to them. They're exempt from the full force of the law. They're able to go into a cake person and say, you're going to bake this cake, no matter if it's against your religion, but that wouldn't be uh, occur to us. You can't do that back to us. Or if you're, you know, Devin, uh, Mr. Mulvaney, uh, he wasn't really pushing Bud Light. I don't think he ever had a Bud Light in his life. The point was he was trying to <laughs> show transgenderism and push it down the throats of Americans, just like female sports. We had 50 years of feminists trying to get equity for women, and all of a sudden we have biological males that are cleaning up and destroying records of women and, and having an unfair advantage, and they've done more damage to female equity than 100 years of chauvinist male pigs in sports. And no one says a word because ideologically that's considered an exempt group. But everybody knows that if you're, a, if you're a male and you transition to female, you're going to have a biological advantage. But on the other hand, mm -hmm. they tell us, no, no, that you're, you're purely female. But then we know the traditional American says, yeah, but men, men that transition to women don't clean up. Uh, I mean, women that transition, transition to men don't clean up in men's sports. There is a difference. There's a biological difference. So it it's just falls on deaf ears. So I think exactly we're right. in America, look at all of these things, and we think, this is not the old politics. This is not the in party, the out party, the left, the right. This is something new. This is beyond yeah. the 60s cultural revolution. This is kind of like Maoism, where it's totality. Yes. They want to go into every aspect of our life, private life, economic, political, social cultural and change it uh, and ideological and they're going to reward people who follow that and they're going to punish people that say not this pig i'm not going to yes. do it and that's what we see with if all you're, of your if stories you're a, this evening mike m go ahead with matt taibbi exactly. the same thing secular, they're saying to him you're yes, an apostate liberal you're going to be published you're going to be punished if you're an, if you're a secular zealot and that is your religion, it's a zero sum game, which means the ends justify the means, which means you destroy corpor corporations that give people jobs, you destroy institutions that used to give equal justice in service of that religious zealotry. And uh, where the carnage leads, nobody knows. Nobody clarifies it better than you, Victor Davis Hanson. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.